Um, are you familiar with hypermobility? Hypermobility? Yes. Um, with the joints? No. With the what? With your joints and your body. Hypermobility with my joints. Uh, Have you ever heard of hypermobility? No. No. Okay. I mean, I think you can see what kind of body I have. I just wanted to um, ask some people about what it meant to them if I said to you hypermobility. Nothing. Nothing. Ehlers Danlos Syndrome is a, a connective tissue disorder, which means that there is a problem with the collagen in, in, in the tissue in the body. When I was first diagnosed at 24, I was diagnosed by a geneticist and she explained to me that Ehlers Danlos was the equivalent of the princess and the pea story because you can feel everything. And that, that really is true. If you're sitting on something and it's slightly hard or protruding or you're leaning on something, it's, it's agony. It's as though your body is one big bruise all the time. For me, the everyday things um, that are hard is standing really upright, and that's because my biggest problem is my postural tachycardia syndrome. So, you know, I need to sit down when I'm on a bus or on a train, and to look at me, you would never give your chair up for me. The biggest reason I, I want to do a documentary to highlight hypermobility and also leading that to Ehlers Danlos syndrome is because of how misdiagnosed it is as a condition. So I racked my brains at all the things that I could do that wouldn't kill me and that's when I came up with the marathon. The, the most frustrating thing about EDS is one day you can be absolutely fine and the next day you could need crutches or even a wheelchair and the next day you could be jumping around again and people just do not understand that. There is no cure for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and, and it can also be um, fatal and the, the fatality is hidden, you know, you don't see it and you don't, you're not made aware that that could be the type that you have because sometimes the symptoms are actually exactly the same. So you could be, have dislocations and pains in your joints and at 20 years old you could have an aneurysm um, in your brain, in your heart, in, in your spleen and that could be the end. What helps is, is people understanding, so it's hard to form relationships and it's hard to maintain friendships and for family to understand because it's relentless, but it's, it's nice if, if people understood it a little bit more.